tomorrow 5.9 confirm if you need a resolution or not. Hi, this is Tim calling from U Haul in Phoenix. Coming for Justin. Uh, first name's Jessica, last name's Kirsch, K I R S H. So you can uh, so go to the top where it says callback type and uncheck everything except for hitch. And then hit search. And then you can type for the last name. What's up, world? Hey, hey. Hey, everybody. What's going on? All right, I need some some assistance on. What's up, Yaz? Jessica. Yes. What's up, Yaz? Yaz, you have a truck. You've towed. Um, I need some assistance on pricing for uh, installing a a tow hitch on my Kona. It's a 2019 Hyundai Kona SEL. And I've just been quoted here at U-Haul. Um, 43206, and that includes the whole package with the hitch. Does that sound reasonable? Philip Emanuele, hey, hey. So, Labor, there's two part, two types of labor. One is for the hitch install, one is for that wire install that are both 90 each, which makes sense. And then there's a two inch ball for 895, four flat multifunction converter for 49.95. Does it? That's the price with the hitch, yeah. So right now they don't have it install in stock here in Phoenix, and so I need to drive to Tucson, and they aren't sure if it's in stock in Tucson. What do you think? The hitch itself is. Returning? No. Uh, by the way. It's for. Uh, One and a quarter. Pitch is 159.95 receiver hitch, and then post the quote to Discord. Okay, I'll step outside. When I quoted it online, it was like 381, but he thinks that that was without without the actual hitch. Let's see. Go over to the car. So, <laughs> thanks so much for hopping on, everybody. So, what I was thinking is having a hitch installed and then renting a trailer, like a U-Haul trailer, and then towing my stuff to Texas, as opposed to renting a truck. And uh, I got Chick-fil-A for lunch. It was delicious. Renting a truck and then trying to tow the Kona behind the truck because... I've done that before and just from Tucson to Phoenix and it was terrifying. It sways and if it hits any uneven payment, let me uh, take a picture. That's a great idea, Philip. I'm going to post it to post the quote to Discord. <sighs> Thankfully, um, I'm going to give a shout out to Whitney. I think she's the president. She was here when I told her I needed to move by Monday. so. She made some phone calls down to Tucson where they might have the hitch in, in stock. Okay. I'm going to post this into where on Discord. Let's see. How's everybody doing? I'm a little stressed. That's honestly how I am. Um, let's see. I'm going to put it in the leveling up channel because that's where the GoFundMe is or was. Hitch install quote. Oh, I feel like I'm going to be sick. 
through UU Hall. All right. I just posted it into the leveling up channel. People will take a look. That would be really helpful. I'm so tired of doing this stuff, especially just by myself. You know what I mean? All right, let's see what we've got in the chat. Oh, thanks, Rocketeer Viking. That's reasonable. Okay. The load in the right trailer geometry is right. Trailer should not sway. How much weight can my Tonico tow? It technically is not supposed to tow anything according to the user manual, but I've had multiple people confirm it can tow up to 2,000 pounds. I just have to be careful and not put it into sport mode. Because it's an intelligent variable transmission. <laughs> yeah, I'm awful house. Thanks, everybody. You're an RV mechanic for years. Dozens of that's a reasonable price for shows closer to himself. Great. Yes. Yeah, so it looks like I'm. If they have it in stock, then I'll drive down to Tucson tomorrow. Have it installed. Drive back up. Load. Rent a trailer. Sometime this weekend load the trailer, drive the, the Kona and the trailer to Texas, where I will stay somewhere with Stella until I find an RV that will lend to me. <laughs> it's hilarious. So I'm just gonna pop back in there and see if they've gotten a call back or, or what, but. Hello. Yeah, I don't know where else to get it other than from you all. Where do you get it? I, I don't know how to install wiring on my, on my Kona. I'm not an electrical person, like I have no idea. And I have three days to move. <sighs> it's funny now, but it's going to be so much more funny looking back in like a year. Maybe not a year, maybe three years. <laughs> We'd be renting their small single axle trailer. Let me show you how, let me show you the size. Oh wait, nope. Somebody just came and picked it up. Uh, I think the smallest one is too small because it's like four by, four by six, four feet by six feet. And I have boxes, I have bins that are like that size. Um, I was hoping maybe this six by 12 so that I know for sure I can get everything in there. Uh, for example, I haven't listed my mountain bike yet. <laughs> so that may be coming with me. I have some golf clubs that may be coming with me. Yaz, I think this is, you have that same Tacoma and that same color, I think, if you're still here. You rent a U-Haul box truck and tow your car. I can. It's just it's it's a little um, it's pretty terrifying to tow the Conan behind it. E Trailers has a hitch for two ten. If I could get a flatbed to tow the Kona on, I feel like I would, I would, that would be easier for me because it would be not so sway and wiggly. I didn't have a sway bar. I don't even know if that helps. Um, but I towed the Kona on a, like the two wheels on the ground, two wheels up 
trailer with behind a box truck from Tucson eight months ago to move into this place that I'm moving out of. And it was really scary. I mean, going speed limits 78, 75 miles an hour on the 10 and I could barely hit that. And when I get to Texas, the speed limit's like 80 or 80, 85, 80, 85. Yeah. Thanks for checking the internet. Uh, six by 12 closed trailer is 900 pounds through U-Haul. Can't go smaller than 900 pounds. <laughs> On a U-Haul car trailer. Yeah. It'd be much more safe and comfortable opposed to using a tow dolly like you did last time. That's what that's called, tow dolly. What if the truck doesn't have air conditioning? I've got Stella. <laughs> I think I'm gonna look into shipping my shit. So I don't have to deal with this jib jab. Somebody could pick it up before I. I think that's what I'm going to do. What do you think about that? Using U ship. That way I don't have to deal with any of this. It's going to be more expensive, obviously. Thanks, Maureen. Thanks for the love. I love it. Thank you so much. I'm so stressed out about this. This is, it takes a lot just to like really stress me out. If I have to, I'll rent a U-Haul truck. I'll park my Kona, I'll take an Uber to U-Haul, I'll rent a U-Haul truck, I'll go load up my shit at the house, and I'll go park the U-Haul truck until somebody can, some kind of carrier can come and pick up my shit and take it. pods or U-Haul sh container shipping. Also, you ship uh, will load up your stuff in a truck that's on its way to your destination anyways. Hector, that'd be great if you could, whatever you use, that'd be awesome if you sent over that information. Um, I have to be moved out of my room by Monday. That's the last day that I'm allowed to be in the house. So I was hoping that I could be out by Sunday, which is 
in two days, less than 48 hours. <laughs> yeah, soon. Do, yeah, just with Stella and putting her in a U-Haul, like she's she's comfortable in my Kona. Yeah, I sometimes overwhelm me choosing everything. Yeah, you get it, odd fam. Yeah, they might need more lead time, of course. Of course, they might need more lead time, right? Okay, I'm gonna ask something. Even if you're not religious, if you'll say a prayer <laughs> to the universe or wherever. Yeah, I, or something. They said they said that they're gonna give you a call. Okay. So if you don't want to wait here, it might be a little while. Oh, that'd be great. They're gonna let you know um, from their marketing company president. Okay. So they're gonna call us and let us know, and then we'll we'll relay that message to you. Excellent. Thank you yeah, so much. I appreciate it. All right, that saves me some time from standing there. All right, world. Thanks for being here with me through all this. <laughs> it's all gonna work out. <laughs> it's just a lot. Okay, I'm going to collect myself and go home and continue doing this stuff. There should be a tally for how many times I cry on stream. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just a little stressed out right now. <sighs> yeah, thanks, it's normal. Oh yes, it's such a nice offer. I don't have very much stuff. I just, if I can't be gone by Monday, I, yeah, I don't know what to do with the stuff. And if I could just put it somewhere where they could come pick it up, that would be, that would be really helpful. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. All right. I'm going to compose myself and I'm going to go home and keep going through the garage. Right. I'm trying to be positive. It's just really hard sometimes. <laughs> I know it's not at the end of the road. It's just I'm in the moment and it's stressful. So I'm sharing. I need a little, a little support, a little like, hey, what do you guys think of this? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. But thank you all for being here for me. I'll uh, see you soon.